Hey guys, welcome to a uh, hopefully quick rendition of a Facebook Live. I want to give you an update on the uh, 2019 Alaska Airmen's Association raffle plane, which is right here behind me. We're uh, making good progress on it. Um, right now we are in the process of fitting up the uh, engine and the cowling. Uh, we've got it on temporary gear. It's actually going to have the, the red Behringer gear, which is newly certified. This is just to support the weight of the engine as we're fitting everything. Uh, I doubted the sawhorse that it was sitting on was going to hold the weight of the engine, so be on the safe side. We stabbed some old gear on it. Um, as you can see, it's got the Hartzell Trailblazer prop set up there. We wanted to put that on there so we can make sure that the spinner fit and that the cowling had clearance behind the spinner back plate. Um, that is a uh, constant speed composite. It's actually a foam core with carbon fiber overlay and nickel leading edges. Uh, it weighs like two pounds more than the aluminum prop that would go on a 180 horse engine. Um, so you get a little bit of extra weight, but a lot more performance out of it. Um, I'll walk you around here and show you a little bit more what we're doing. Uh, also the prop, the STC for the prop was sponsored, donated by uh, professional pilots, which they are also getting us an exhaust system known as the Sutton exhaust. That's one of the things we're kind of waiting on here because we want to make sure that the cowling has plenty of clearance from the exhaust so we can't quite finalize the fit on the cowling yet. Uh, cowling is part of Cub Crafters 180 horsepower STC so they sponsored the cowling um, and all of the parts and pieces that go along with the 180 horsepower conversion. Um, they also sponsored the core engine which we sent to Western Skyways who completely uh, overhauled that for us so we've got it just temporarily set in place for right now um, fiberglass or the cowling is all fiberglass and part of the fit is we have to m drill holes to index where this whole thing sits and the prop is just stabbed on there right now but it'll actually come back to about a about a half an inch clearance from the cowling so that's one of the reasons the props on there um, and then the doors are kind of oversized, so we actually have to cut and fit these to make them work. These have been uh, scuff sanded, acid etched, and alodyned so that they're corrosion proofed and then paint will stick to them. So this will end up getting mounted up here and you can see there's quite a bit of extra up here so this will get trimmed back to, to match the contours. But again, that trimming we don't want to do until we know exactly where that exhaust is going to sit. <coughs> And then uh, once we have everything fit, that'll tell us the final position of everything so we can tape out for all the paint lines so that we don't have any staggers and paint lines where it meets from the boot cowl to the cowling. We want all that to line up so we have to make sure everything's pre-fit. I think I mentioned in another video that we actually end up building these planes about three times in the process because you build it, fit it, take it off, put something else on, fit that, put the other thing back on, and then you got to take it all apart to paint it. So time consuming so this airplane's already been built twice and this is about the third time <laughs> which will hopefully be the last one. Uh, as we walk around you can see the, the boot cowl is pretty much finalized. We've got all the fasteners, the windshield has been fit um, but we've got all the windows out of it now and they've all been fit and they're out for safekeeping and protection so they don't get scratched. Um, the access panel again for the Dakota Cub battery box. And as we come around here, a few things that are kind of new in the interior that you haven't seen before. Um, we've got the Behringer master cylinders mounted up, which is pretty fancy. Pretty lightweight and high pressure, so we shouldn't have any issues getting this thing stopped. And you see the instrument panel, the last time you saw it I believe it just had some sharpie markups on it. But we've got that all cut out and that's going to go to advanced powder coating here in the next couple of days and it'll get uh, it'll actually get powder coated white and then an additional powder coating of gray that will then get laser engraved by laser 67 designs which will put all the placards on 
So you'll have white lettered placards on a dark gray panel. Um, some of the things that are in there, the big hole in the middle is a, a Garmin 796. Um, a, lot of, a lot of this stuff has been sponsored. So uh, Northern Lights Avionics at Merrill Field, they've been huge help with this whole thing. Um, they've secured the Garmin sponsorships. Garmin's obviously a big sponsor of it. Electronic, Electronics International has got the uh, two CGRs coming. So we'll have a CGRP and a CGR um, and 30P and a CGR 30C. So we'll have full engine an analytics, 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 <laughs> and uh, and then it's also going to have. Um, uh, SICE is sponsoring fuel sending units, so it'll actually have accurate real-time fuel quantity display on the CGR30C. Uh, Mid-Continent got us a, a clock over on the far left, as well as an airspeed indicator and an altimeter. And then the uh, kind of off-center hole there is actually going to be a square Garmin G5, which will give all kinds of flight data, airspeed, altitude, vertical speed, terrain uh, yeah it's a it's a sweet machine and then over here is the radio stack which will have uh, the uh, the radio com which is a garmin and then also the garmin transponder with full adsb in and out which this guy will be able to display on the big glass screen uh, map view of all of the traffic in the area um, of course we've got switches and lights and all the mixture control cabin controls um, circuit breakers, we've got the um, electro air, electronic ignition, remote ELT switch, some warning lights. It's kind of cool, there's a traffic mute button, so if you're in a congested area and it's beeping at you telling you there's traffic, you can tell it to shut up. And yeah, that's about it for now. We've got um, all the rudder cables have been custom rigged and and crimped so they're all secure same with the elevator cables um, one of the spendier items that we had we didn't anticipate was this is an originally a PA 18 125 and with the 180 horsepower conversion you have to have a later model stick and torque tube setup so this had the old style so um, Univer gave us a good price on replacing all of that so that it's stronger to handle the extra horsepower and gross weight. Um, yeah, oh this is kind of cool, I don't think we saw this before. The, uh, here, because of the angles that we have here, the flat piece of glass won't just sit on there. It's also got the angle going over the top, so I don't know if you can see the crease here, but there's a cool little trick we use, a uh, heat tape. And we actually remove the paper, the protective paper, and then we lay that heat tape down, tape the heat tape on, run it for about seven minutes, and it gets really hot. And then it just starts to bend, and you can bend it into place wherever you need with your bends. So there's a bend here, there's another bend there, another one over there. So it's a very good custom fit. And of course, it'll be tinted so you don't get too hot in there. And yeah, the rest is cranking along. Um, so touch base with us. Uh, if anybody thinks this stuff's cool and wants a job, we are in the market for a couple of AMP, airframe and power plant mechanics. So if you're interested and you want to be part of a fun team, we usually crank the music and have a good time. Um, we haven't been showing you much about what's going on around the rest of the shop, but I think we've got seven sets of wings in here right now and four fuselages, and there's a couple more sitting outside waiting to get in. So. We got the work, we just need the help, so we be happy to entertain any um, resumes. If you guys want to send them over to jobs at abovealaska.com, we'll take a look at them and get back to you. Um, also, if you want to buy a raffle ticket to win this sweet bird, you need to call the Alaska Airmen's Association, and they're at 907-245-1251. Get your chance to win it. Um, yeah. So that's about it, and hope to see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.